HRC, 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 HRC. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church. Shalom, shalom. Grace and peace. Praise be to Ahaya, Ashre Ahaya, Anyache, Meshiaka. We hope all is well with you, fellow believers, in Ahaya, Alahayam, yes, and Nyache, Meshiaka. We are gathered here to discuss the reality that repentance is for Israel and for the Gentiles. And through the blood of Mashiach, we all have the opportunity to be saved. Yeah. And this is what we will be looking into in the scriptures today. So as we go into it here, we start at the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 1. In Isaiah, chapter 49, it's interesting that it's the book of Isaiah, but in this particular section, this is Yache speaking directly in the mouth of the prophet, as we're going to see by what he is saying in the scriptures here. So start at Isaiah 49 and 1, please. Listen, O owls, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. Ahia have called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. He hath made my mouth like a sharp sword, in the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft, in his quiver hath he hid me. And he said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, mm -hmm. I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with Ahia, and my work with my Elohim. And now saith Ahia that formed me from the womb to be his servant. So this Yache, now Yache telling us what Ahia said to him, continue. To bring Yakobi again to him. So what he's about to tell him was something that was necessary to bring the tribes of Israel back together. Continue. Though Israel be not gathered. So that this time they weren't gathered yet. Continue. Yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of Ahia, and my Elohim shall be my strength. Indeed, because what he was come to do, he knew he would be glorified for it, because that's what he said, glorify me with the glory which thou gavest me the, before the world was. Mm -hmm. He had complete faith coming in to do it all. Yeah. There was no doubt in it. Right. He knew what he had to do, and he knew Ahia would deliver him. He's foretelling of the deliverance and the glorification he would receive before he even came into the earth. Mm -hmm. um, let's continue Isaiah 49 and 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant, the race of the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserves of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, yes. that thou mayest be my salvation unto the ends of the earth. So we see the Gentiles. It was foretold that they would have the opportunity to repent, and they do have the opportunity to repent as well. And the Israelites that believed of old, they understood that they were waiting for salvation to come in Yache. They were waiting for him, the Mishiaka, and they understood that the Gentiles were going to be saved too, the ones that believed. Right. You can see that in Luke chapter 2, verse 25. Luke 2 and 25. And behold, there was a man in Yarochalam whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And Ruach HaKadosh was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by Ruach HaKadosh that he should not see death before he had seen Adonai Messiah. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child, Yachek, to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed Allah and said, Adonai, now let thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. 
For mine eyes have seen thy salvation. And there we see that salvation that was spoken of in the Old Testament. It was speaking of him. Right. He was who he was speaking of the whole time. Continue. Which thou hast prepared before the faith of all people. Mm -hmm. A light to lighten the Gentiles. And the glory of the people is Shariala. Now notice he said, I like to lighten the Gentiles. The Gentiles being awakened and the glory of thy people, Israel, because it's in him who we rejoice. Right. For we are the circumcision who worship Allah in spirit and rejoice in Mishiach Ayache. As uh, with Philippians 3 and 3, he talks about that. Mm. When Yache is coming into the world, he did come into the world to die for Israel. But as the prophecies show, he also came to be a light to the Gentiles. That's right. You can touch Matthew uh, 15 and 24. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting, showing that he was sent for Israel, right? right. Well, continue here and see what's said, because this lady, she was a Gentile. But she look how much faith she had. She was not letting go. Continue. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Adonia, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Well, he was giving her a parable. He was not calling the woman a dog. But he was giving her a parable right. to see. Because remember, he spoke in dog sentences to test people. Right. To see what would they choose. Because would she sit there and actually consider the parable? Or would she sit there and get offended thinking he was trying to talk about it? Right. She was thinking about the parable. She wanted that salvation. I believe she was trying to get help. One of her, her children was dying or sick or something like that. Continue. And she said, True, Fadona. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. She wasn't, she wasn't letting it slide by. Right. <laughs> she was like, I'm going to get this help. Right. She's like, yeah, that's true. The, the dogs are humble enough to eat. You're right. On the You're right. So she's <laughs> like, give me whatever you give me, I'll take it. <laughs> so she was in the moment. She was sincerely making sure she received that salvation. Continue. Then Yache answered and said unto her, O woman. Great is thy faith. See, <laughs> he ain't let go. He was only testing. He knew she would. He knew she was going to say the right thing. He right. done it. Right. <laughs> Continue. Be it unto thee, even if thou wilt. Mm. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Faith. Faith is a key. Yes, indeed. Let's look at John chapter one. Verse 11 and 12. John chapter 1, verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So he did come, because he did come to die for Israel. As right. he said, I came not but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. right? He came unto his own, and they received him not. So many of the Israelites rejected him. As we saw, the Pharisees and scribes, the little priesthood got him killed. Continue. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of Elohim, even to them that believe on his name. So there we see not all the Trial rejected him. That's right. Uh, John 11, verse 51 and 52. John 11, verse 51. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahche should die for that nation. And not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of Elohim that were scattered abroad. And that was just touching on the fact that Yahweh had to die for Israel. So it's amazing that it was foretold that he would do these things. Continuing to, we're looking now in the book of Acts to see that he told the disciples to preach to all nations beginning with Jerusalem in Luke chapter 24 verse 46 to 48 uh, Luke 24 verse 46 and he said unto them thus it is written and thus it behooved Messiah to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day 
and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Yaro Chalam. So you saw he did come to die for Israel, but once he made the atonement, repentance and remission of sins was to be preached to all nations beginning at Yaro Chalam. And we can look at that in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. You can read through that. Okay. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Mm -hmm. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with Ruach HaKodoshi and began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Yorochalam Jews, devout men out of every nation so, under heaven. So we see these are the Israelites here. Because right. this is right after the Yache left. And before he left, he told them to abide in Jerusalem until they received the Holy Spirit. And now this is when the Holy Spirit came at the Feast of Pentecost, which is the Feast of First Fruits. Mm -hmm. Alright, continue. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, mm -hmm. because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Now this is interesting. Everybody's coming from different countries where they speak different languages. But now through the Holy Spirit, every man could understand each. Continue. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? <laughs> and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes, Elamites, and the dwellers of Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia. All right. Um, I don't know how to say that one. Phrygia? Phrygia. <laughs> I don't know where that is, but I don't either. It looks, I think that's actually Asia Minor somewhere. Yeah, Let's see. Yeah, this is Asia Minor. All right. All right. Pamphylia in Egypt. So that's Africa. And in the parts of Libya. North Africa. About Cyrene and strangers of Rome. So we were up in Rome too. We were all the way over in Italy. Jews and proselytes. Cretes and Arabians. And there we see, they had Israelites there, and then there came Gentiles there too. Mm -hmm. Continue. We do hear them speak in our own tongue and wonderful words of Elohim. Uh, All right. So there we see through the scriptures that it's true. Even when he said beginning at Jerusalem, there were Gentiles who would come down to the feast because they had converted. Now, can you jump to chapter 10, verse 42 to 44? We will go and jump in into the midst of Peter telling Cornelius the words of salvation. Continue. Acts 10, verse 42. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of Elohim to be the judge of quick and dead. And to him give all the prophets witness. That through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sin. There we see whomsoever. So the, even it was revealed in the prophets, showing that it was revealed of old, that the Gentiles could be saved. Because whomsoever shall believe in his name shall receive remission of sins. Right? Right. We go back to Acts 11 and 15 now. Read through to 21, please. Acts 11 verse 15. And as I began to speak, Ruach HaKadoshi fell on them as on us at the beginning. Then remembered I the word of Adonai, how that he saith, Yachanan, indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with Ruach HaKadoshi. Mm -hmm. For as much then as Allah gave them the like gift as he did unto us, who believed on Adonai Yachay Hemeshiachah. Who was I that I could withstand Elohim? When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified Elohim, saying, Then hath Elohim also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. And there we confirm that repentance of life is unto Israel and unto the Gentiles. Yeah. All right. And that's exactly what Yahweh said to do in uh, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Matthew 28 verse 18 
and Yahshua came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And that's the glory that he said he would get in Isaiah 49. Right. <laughs> Continued. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Ahaya. the Son, Yache. and the Holy Spirit. Ruachahekwadoshi. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Yamen. Praise Ahayah. So understand, brothers and sisters of the nations and of Ichiyala, we must attain to bearing all the fruits of the Spirit. We learn something new, strive for it. Keep building, because our Mishiach is the goal. Of righteousness for them that believe it as Romans chapter 10 verse 4 said so everything we learn of the righteousness of Allah Hayam, we learn it build keep going because he's raising us up to be like unto him he's our shepherd he's teaching us so may we be encouraged to to do these things and one of the Hebrew records we talked about um that you're supposed to give your, your soul back the way that it was given unto you. I don't know if it's Barnabas or if it's Clement, but he said that you're, you're literally supposed to give your soul back the way that it was given unto you. Perfect. Without spot, without blemish. I think that's Hermas. I think it talks about the Holy Spirit that if you had it and it got defiled, well, we have to look into that. I, I think it's Hermas. Might be. I think. Ah, it's Hermas it Commandment Her 3. Well, praise praise Ahaya. Yeah. <laughs> it says, this is Hermas speaking with the angel of repentance, uh, Fenuel. This is Hermas uh, Commandment 3. It says, again, he said to me, love truth and let nothing but truth proceed out of thy mouth, that the spirit which Allah made to dwell in this flesh may be found true in the sight of all men and thus shall ahaya who dwelleth in thee be glorified for ahaya is true in every word and with him there is no falsehood they therefore that speak lies set ahaya at naught and become robbers of ahaya hmm. for they do not deliver up to him the deposit which they received for they received of him a spirit free from lies. Mm -hmm. This, if they shall return a lying spirit, they have defiled the commandment of Ahayah and have become robbers. When then I heard these things, I wept bitterly. But seeing me weep, he saith, Why weepest thou? Because, sir, say I, I know not if I can be saved. Why so? saith he because sir i say never in my life spake i a true word but i always lied deceitfully with all men and dressed up my falsehood as truth before all men and no man ever contradicted me but confidence was placed in my word how then sir say i can i live seeing that i have done these things your supposition he saith is right and true for it behooved thee as a servant of Allah to walk in truth, and no complicity with evil should abide with the spirit of truth, nor bring grief to the spirit which is holy and true. Never, say I, heard I clearly words such as these. Now then, saith he, thou hearest, guard them, that the former falsehoods also which thou spakest in thy business affairs may themselves become credible now that these are found true for they too can become trustworthy if thou keep these things and from henceforward speak nothing but truth and here we are today to walk forward thou shalt be able to secure life for thyself and whosoever shall hear this command and abstain from falsehood that most pernicious habit shall live unto Allah Hayyam. Uh, it got the foul through, you know, our lust and whatever we've seen that corrupted us, or whatever we went through, being children or growing up that's corrupted us. And that soul, it starts to get corrupted. So we have to 
We have to fix it before we give it back to the Father, before we go back up into the heavens in our time when this earth is over. Um, finishing up uh, with Romans, and that's the last of it there. Okay, uh, Romans 2 and 8. But unto them that are contentious, and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil. So it doesn't matter what nation we are if we don't keep the law. Of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good. And this is where we want to be. Working good. Continue. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Of all nations. This is our opportunity. Continue. For there is no respect of persons with Elohim. All right. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. All right. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. And notice the sin in the law. So we knew of the law right. and we didn't keep it. Right. Or we knew of the law but didn't bear the fruits. Right. Because it's still a sin if we don't bear the fruits of the Spirit. That's right. As we learned with the rich man where he said he kept the commandments but when they came to the fruits in faith he was found an unbeliever. Faith is one of the fruits. Yes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Continue. But not the hearers of the law are just before Elohim, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Therefore, we'll do all of it. It's a commandment to believe in Yahshua too. Right? Continue. But when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law or law unto themselves. So they weren't given the commandments, but by nature, they're keeping the commandments because now their heart, because they're circumcised in their heart, they receive the law written in on their hearts. Their heart is convicting them or justifying them. Continue. We show the work of the law written in their hearts. Right. <laughs> their conscience also being witness in their thoughts, the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. Mm -hmm. In the day when Elohim shall judge the secrets of men by Yahshua and Mashiach according to my gospel. And that verse when he said, in the day when Yahshua and Mashiach shall judge the secrets of men according to his gospel. Because he was referring back to when he said, not the hearers of the law, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Because he gave straight testimony and will close here to understand brothers and sisters paul said it straightly not the hearers of the law shall be justified but the doers of the law That's right. we have to abide in this that we may abide in the repentance mm -hmm. the grace that's in the blood of yachin and shiaka we hope this was edifying for you all and we encourage you all to continue to strive for righteousness and questions comments please email us hebrewreaders at gmail.com Hope we enjoy the time we have the opportunity to spend with you all by our hair's grace, and we hope this is edifying for all hearers. Um, anything else? Um, yeah, just words of encouragement. Mm -hmm. I, I pray for you all that you know you don't get complacent in saying you're doing a couple of the laws or you're doing a, you're bearing a couple of the fruits of the spirit. We have to be perfect. We have to keep all the law. And we have to bear all the fruits of the Spirit because our, our Father said, if you love me, keep my commandments and love is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Mm. And if you love the Father, you're going to keep all his commandments. And if you love the Father, you're going to bear all the fruits of the Spirit because these are the, the two greatest commandments. Love I have with all thy heart, all thy might, and all thy soul. That's bearing the fruits of the Spirit and you're keeping his commandments because you love him. Plus, the second greatest commandment, love thy brother as thyself. That's the fruits of the Spirit. That's bearing all the fruits of the Spirit. So, Yahshua never told us that it's okay if we're missing some of these. Right. We have to bear it all, and we have to do it all. Right. Don't let any man lead you astray from this and tell you that it's okay that you're not doing this, or it's okay if you're not doing that. Say, no, I need to do it all because I was instructed to do it all, not just do a portion of it. So just to, 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 to help you all and to, to, 
really examine what we have to do. We have to be perfect. By the end of this, we have to be perfect. Because that's the only way we're going to enter into the kingdom. We have to really strive for righteousness and perfection. And not be self-justified or to feel like you've done enough. Yes. Or that you made it to a certain point and, and you feel like you're okay right where you are. It's all or nothing. You can't be lukewarm. No. Or else you'll be spewed out. You see anything else? Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Spiritual wickedness. There are spirits. Those thoughts that come and tell you we're okay. I do this well. Yeah, I don't do that well, but that's all right. Can't nobody get it right. Right, that's the one. That's even what doubt was talking about in Hermes. But it said if you doubt and say that you can't keep all these commandments and bear all the fruit. That's right. That's right. Where we sit. Right. <laughs> right. In uh, Hermes Commandment 12, it says, in Hermes Commandment 12, it says, So he completed the 12 commandments and saith to me, Thou hast these commandments, walk in them, and exhort thy hearers that their repentance may become pure for the rest of the days of their life. This ministration which I give thee, fulfill thou with all diligence to the end, and thou shalt effect much, for thou shalt find favor among those who are about to repent, and they shall obey thy words. And this also shows those that are telling somebody to repent, you have to actually bear the fruits yourself. Right. Because when they see the righteousness of Mishiaka in you, it's actually Mishiaka who's talking to them through our behavior. He goes on to say, Who are about to repent, and they shall obey thy words, for I will be with thee, and will compel them to obey thee. So see, the same with their spiritual activity, trying to cause us to sin, there are righteous angels that are there when we're doing right by Mishiaka working in us. It strengthens the righteousness for them to cause others to believe because the light is shining there. Where there's light, they take over. Then he goes on to say, I say to him, sir, these commandments are great and beautiful and glorious and are able to gladden the heart of the man who is able to observe them. But I know not whether these commandments can be kept by a man, for they are very hard. And he answered and said unto me, If thou said it before thyself that it can be kept, thou wilt easily keep them, and they will not be hard. But if it once enter into thy heart that they cannot be kept by a man, Thou will not keep them. This ties right into the concept that can't nobody be perfect. Right. No man can keep the law. The angel is telling us that's a stumbling block to make sure we don't do it. Right. And he goes on to say, But now I say unto thee, If thou keep them not, but neglect them, thou shalt not have salvation. Right. Neither thy children nor thy household, since thou hast already pronounced judgment against thyself that these commandments cannot be kept by a man. And that's interesting because the false teaching about uh, Meshiaka coming from a virgin, not being touched, a miraculous um, you know, virgin child, mm -hmm. they say that he could keep the commandments because he was, he was Pretty much a, a, a they, demi ally. They, yeah, they said he, they tried to say he was like a demi deity, right. half man, they half They said he could keep the commandments, but right here in Hermes is saying that a man can keep the commandments. And the, we they, read in Second right. Timothy and First Timothy two and five that Yache is a man. That's right. And for testimony, it's interesting that virgin concept, they use that to make us as your To Lord. make it seem like we can't do it. Right. Like he was on a, he had another a level. Right. There was something he had that we didn't. Right. Now it's interesting that something he had was a spirit of life. Yes, it was. And what's supposed to be in us? The spirit, spirit of, of life. life. So we can do it. That's right. We have to understand who he was. The, the, the false doctrine that he was born of a woman that was never touched. It's not true. Right. And it was very much geared towards 
deceiving us to think that we are not able to do it because we cannot be like him right when in reality he's calling us to be like him that's right to be perfect as he was perfect through the power of Allah I am by his spirit working in us he, so finishing up in um, Hermas he says but now I say unto thee if thou keep them not but neglect them Thou shalt not have salvation, neither thy children nor thy household, since thou hast already pronounced judgment against thyself, that these commandments cannot be kept by a man. Mm -hmm. And these things he said to me very angrily, so that I was confounded and feared him exceedingly, for his form was changed so that a man could not endure his anger. Mm -hmm. And when he saw that I was altogether disturbed and confounded, he began to speak more kindly and cheerfully to me. And he saith, Foolish fellow, void of understanding and of doubtful mind, perceivest thou not the glory of Allah Hayyam, how great and mighty and marvelous it is, how that he created the world for man's sake, and subjected all his creation to man, and gave all authority to him? that he should be master over all things under the heaven? If then, saith he, man is master of all the creatures of Allah Hayyam, and mastereth all things, cannot he also master these commandments, eh? Saith he, the man that hath Adonai in his heart can master all things and all these commandments, thus showing, we have Yacha in you, that's right. It's still to be done. So, we be encouraged to 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 strive for it. Yes, indeed. Strive for it sincerely. This opportunity to live. Um, indeed, pray for us. To Ahaya Ashre Ahaya, in the name of Yache and Shiaka. He may keep us and strengthen us and continue to purge us and bring us onto perfection as well as we will pray for you. May Ahaya be magnified and. Grace and peace to those who believe in Yachi and Shiata, the son of Allah. Ciao. Ciao. HRC, 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 HRC,